Hey everyone! Welcome to From the Depths. I'm Menti, and this is episode 154 of the Battleship Brawls Season 3 Tournament. This episode, we've got a uh, another league battle going between the Weenormous by the Jimmer and the New Mexico by Ferrom 4. Uh, I don't. Wait, is the New Mexico up for retirement? I forget. Nope. Nope, neither vessel is up for retirement, no matter what happens. So let's go ahead and get right into that battle. See how this goes. We Normus is a very durable, very tanky ship. It's got its own little wiggle going on there. The AI jitters. Just the AI can't decide which direction to turn. The volley from the We Normus misses its initial shots. New Mexico's uh, landed a couple hits, but they didn't really do much. Ooh, got some water skips there that missed, didn't do any damage. And then the deck armor on the Weenormous holding up decently well. It's got some holes punched in it, but. I mean, as far as deck armor goes, that's pretty sturdy. Oh, that's actually a pretty significant hole. Wow, the Arkansas. Er, Dang it, why do I keep calling the New Mexico the Arkansas? <laughs> the New Mexico, its shells are doing uh, a significant amount of damage to the Weenormous. When it lands an entire volley, oh yeah, blowing out big chunks. That's a lot of shit missing there. But the, uh, the New Mexico, almost called it the Arkansas again, but I caught myself. <laughs> the New Mexico here is... Uh, not exactly withstanding the barrage it's uh, from the Weenormous. Nothing important seems to have been hit. That is a lot of damage. That is also a lot of ship missing. Like that is just a big, that is a big hole. Right on that turret, that gun is gone. Absolutely obliterated. It's a very close match right now, only like two and a half percent difference in hit points. But the Arkansas has not yet lost any of its guns, but since I just said that, obviously the next volley from the Weenormous will take them out. Oh no, no, because you know, because I called out my I called out the curse. Therefore, the curse did the opposite of what I said and didn't blow them up. Oh, for a second there, I thought the back... It looked like the, the rear deck of the... Uh, damn it! <laughs> there goes the front turret taking a hit. <laughs> Looks like it survived, though. Just lost some barrels. <laughs> but seriously, what is up with that? I comment on something and then something happens and we're oh, the Weenormous is listing heavily. Rearing up out of the water and listing. This is not, uh... Not the situation the Weenormous wants to be in. And it's exposing its probably pretty fragile underside and putting its guns in a position that cannot fire. Yeah, the lower deck of uh, ships are generally not very well armored. Uh, yeah, the uh, Wee Normus is getting disqualification time here for being too high. <laughs> and that is why the upper altitude limit exists. <laughs> but because a lot of times when ships get into this position, enemies have trouble hitting them because it's a very awkward, awkward position, which is why I have the uh, the upper altitude limit. But the uh, New Mexico actually doesn't seem to be having any problems landing shots, despite the uh, despite <laughs> the wee Normus standing on end. <laughs> it's just sit sticking straight up in the air. <laughs> Uh, 
But yep, yeah, that is going to get it disqualified. There's no way it's going to come down in time. Kaboom. <laughs> Detonated by a nuke. <laughs> but let's face it, if that had continued on, the Ark. The, the, I. It is not the Arkansas! <laughs> The New Mexico. If the New Mexico had, con if the things had continued on, the New Mexico was pretty much guaranteed to win that. So even with that uh, disqualification detonation, uh, it, it's uh, you know, Furam Four can feel uh, feel like they earned that victory for sure. So yeah, thanks for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed, even though I keep calling this ship the Arkansas, uh, and I'll see you on the battlefield.